Welcome back to Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. Let's try to have some idea what we're doing this time. Hmm. You know, for now, let's just save and, uh, see how it goes from there. You know what, let's not. Because, you know, we all know how badly that's going to go. If nobody has any mana, nobody can cast spells. And that means nobody can do jack. There's no healing. Very low damage attacks. Arr, me is. Wait a minute, why didn't we just sail due west? Because we turn north, and then now we're sailing due west again. So... Oh crap. Skype's open. Sorry. I left too many things open, and that's why it's chugging. I heard depart! Always use thunder. Thunder beats water. Let's try a blinding strike this time. No. Of course, fire also beats water if your name happens to be Charmander and you happen to have been trained by yours truly. Phoenix down. Oh, 
I'm doing a lot better than I did last time. Okay, yeah. Kirina. Let's go for an X slash this time. Damn it. Desan's up next. Of course, I'm going to use a Thunder Strike. That doesn't seem to be doing any less damage. White Mage doing what the White Mage is here for. Let's see here now. Ah! What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Thunderstrike. Here. No, it doesn't matter. Brace yourselves! We being pulled in! Magus! Zeria! Magus! Mother! Father! Zeria! The sun! Isis! Where are you? Let's continue on. Save the game. <laughs> Valeska. Welcome to Valeska, capital of the kingdom of Golden Horn. Many here are still, are still angry at Emperor Magus Lee for the wars he caused in the past. Oh gee, you don't know the you don't notice the guy standing right in front of you. And I have nothing to say to you. And I will only speak with an ivory knight of golden horn. If you want to spend the night, please go to the fr front of the counter if you would. No, I don't want to. I'm at full health. Are you attempting to ignore me? You are going to die for your sins, Dark Lord. No. And who is going to cause this to occur? You? Not I. Them. Of whom are you speaking? You will see, Major Lee. You will see. Okay, then.
Ether. Loot. Why did you come here? What did you hope to gain? At least somebody recognizes me. Lady Krista Aya. Emperor Magus, what brings you here to Golden Horn? My comrades and I were separated when our ship was attacked by the Dark Sister of the Seas. I came to see if you knew of what Valdris. Valdris? Oh yes, I know all about them, Magus. They are planning for a war against the Rim Kingdoms, and I heard they, they had attacked the Myri land masses too. Yes, and they placed a spy within Kazarith's ranks, gave a, an ultimatum to Ilion, and attacked Zelonia just before I arrived here. And those bastards. They came to Golden Horn recently, demanding that Queen Raina either surrenders or be attacked as well. Raina refused. There's an E missing it right there. Right here. And as did Ilion's rulers when they were given the same threat. Krista, I cannot speak with the Queen unless you come with me. Would you do so? Hmm. People still think you're going to rip their faces off or something, Magus? In a manner of speaking. Because they threatened my home and attacked you and yours. I'll help you this time, Magus. Just don't think this is going to become a common theme between us. I do understand entirely, Krista. And I extend my gratitude to you. I do this because it's the right thing to do, not because I'm one of your minions, Magus. Remember that. Shall we go? Yes, we must inform Reyna immediately. You're going to be alright, Siv? <laughs> well, it's about time someone spoke to me. I was beginning to think I was just an ornament, an ornament here. You are not an ornament. If you were, then you would not, not be talking back to me now, would you? Anyway, you ought to stay here while I am gone, alright? Alright. Good luck. Who was talking just now? Was that the horse, or...? and snorts you and nuzzles Krista. And I have to try not to get too caught up in all this. Ah, talk to you. And all I can think about is the incident that happened at the castle. Because I've, uh, I'm going to have to stop in about two minutes. Indeed, you are not fearful of me? No, I am. I know you could kill me right now with just a thought. I do not think of you like that. There is more to anyone than just what is spoken of them. You are most curious, my lady. Perhaps you would benefit from a visit to Kazaris sometime. I would be honored, my lord. <coughs> I would be honored, my lord, Lee to visit your homeland someday. After my business is concluded, I shall take you there. Until then. Farewell now, my lord Lee. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to find her after everybody's done here. Lady Krista, my lady. Good day to you, my lady. He may the blessings of the light be bestowed upon you. Right. Look, I know you're just trying to make the Umphra feel uncomfortable, so just cut it out. I mean, let him cut your tongue out if you continue with this. M M Lady Krista, y you would never let him do that. I would, just to get it through your thick skull that the Emperor is working with us. I, I suppose I should apologize. And I require nothing from your elk. Ah, did not mean to go in here, but I might as well. I'm amazed at the kind of crap these people lay flying around. <laughs> I guess that chest isn't interactive. Well, I guess you have to see you later with more Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. Yep, 
That phone's going in my pocket. <laughs> 